Hello, today we're going to create some cool little drawings. Basically, we're gonna find something in the house that is a circle, and we're gonna trace a portion of the circle to make something similar to these super cute little drawings I saw on Pinterest. I thought they were super cute. So we're gonna create our own. Um, you don't have to do the identical, say leaves. I started sketching some of these and I'll, I'll show you step by step. I also sketched out a few ideas of um, patterns that I liked and I can show you how to do each one of these. I cut them out because I thought I would adjust and um, work with them. I will show you in a large scale and then you can scale it down to um, to fit. So here's some other little cute ones, some different elements. So I did a little mask covering. It's made with Velcro. I'm gonna add to my mask. But I just um, made a few of these. And so today we're gonna use some of the drawing elements. Again, find something with that's a circle. I used a ribbon shape holder. Okay, so let's maybe get in, let's get started with this one. Basically along the line, I'm only drawing half of the circle here and then a tiny portion up at the top. With the leaves, you can see making tiny leaves around the sides and then the little veins in the leaves. You can work at your own pace. You can do several circles and draw different designs inside of them. This cute one is going to have a cactus, some mountains, and uh, sun, and of course some spring type leaves. You can sketch it out with pencil first and then come back in ink. You can color them in if you'd like. I sometimes just like the black and white. If you have um, colored pencils and do it lightly, it's nice. The other thing is you can um, add a little message and um, Take a picture of it and send it to someone or I don't really know it's not really sanitizable if it sits for three days I think you can actually put it on someone's door as a nice little gesture it's up to you and your friends or loved ones if you feel that that's the way to go if you wanted to send out a, a nice gift Okay, so at the bottom here, I'm going to do a cactus. I sketched it in already. So pretty much just an um, elongated cone. And then it's going to have an arm coming out. And then bring up another cone. And then another one lower. doesn't have to be exact, it can be however you want. This little Pinterest design did not have a flower, but I think I might make a flower later. Now, this one's gonna have a mountain behind it, so you wanna sketch behind the cactus, come up. I already traced it a little different, or draw, drew it different than I just traced it, but. Um, there's also mountains in the forefront, so 
so you can choose to do the forefront mountains first that always makes it nice so that you don't run into it sketch it with a pencil um, first so that you're not making a mistake luckily I sketched mine with a pencil just a lightly so that I could tell if I was on track or not and then you if you have an eraser hopefully then if you don't like something you can always change it now with the mountains they have different levels and peaks so I'm drawing some lines coming down so this mountain here, it'll have shading on one side. And that's kind of to show that the sun's maybe over here. Or actually, the sun's right here on this one. But it's okay. It's just some fun elements. Sun's coming down, so it's brighter in some areas. Let's not forget that the cactus has lines coming straight down. Let's see. Now, I'm using the fine tip of my Sharpie. If you have something thinner, um, it's good. If you're using, say, just a writing ink pen, keep in mind that those uh, smear a little bit and if you are drawing with a ink pen then you might want to put a tissue or paper or a napkin down and then draw because if not then your hand is going to smear the ink so that's just a quick note the sharpie doesn't smear on paper it does smear on say soft like plastic that type of thing. Now with this little guy up here, this sun, will also I need to finish out my circle. So I'm doing a small, just a portion of a circle above. And then you can use I think I used the inside of, I found a little half circle here inside my tape dispenser. But if I was to go all the way around, it's messed up here on the sides. It's hard to get a nice even circle. So I did a um, little tiny sun up in here. definitely hard to do once you've got it down again pencil first then I did some rays you can use a roller or just by hand so some of my rays are elongated and some of them are going to be shorter you can also do some where their lines and dots or dashes. I'm probably going to do my leaves first here before I do more rays because I don't want the, the rays to go through my leaves. just doing little leaves here on both sides Do your leaves however you want. And in nature, not all 
the leaves aren't always the same identical but do your best I'm drawing sideways so the camera can see it now if you want to you can draw in some lines or not you can leave them plain you can draw some veins in them like these um, but I do think it's nice to have it break up a little so that these have the veins down here and these don't but it's just fine so then the other thing the other elements that the cactus has I have the lines on all the arms and then we're gonna do like little X's to uh, create the little sharp, uh, are they called spikes? Probably spikes on um, the cactus. The needles, are they called needles? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do some X's here and there. Now, I don't have a finer ballpoint, and I wish I did. Don't forget that they're, they stick out at the top too. I would do, try to do every other. So now that I did a line here of little X's, I'm gonna try to do my other X's in between so they're not a straight line coming across. Make sense? So I didn't go right next to it. I went in the space between on the line. You can even go a little more sparse so it's not too heavy. Keeping in mind that some of these are gonna stick out around the edges. So basically just little X's and as you continue it looks like your painting gets your little drawing gets more and more detailed at the beginning it's very very simple but as you keep adding little elements it becomes more detailed and it looks like a fancy art looks more intricate than it really is. It's just adding little patterns. Lines, 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 repeat, repeat. I'm gonna do some of the outside ones first. Gotta keep in mind not to be um, too, too thick. Now, I feel that my lines have gotten lost with everything, so I will outline my cactus just a little bit more. Gotta step back and look at it. And since this side of the drawing is more shaded, like the mountains, I'm gonna go a little bit darker. I need to go darker underneath. You can go dark on this side too. And underneath here. There's our first little drawing. Now this other one I sketched out in advance <clears throat> has some mountains. It'll have a moon and stars and some trees. I started sketching out and it's gonna have a little, little lake and some flowers around the top. These little flowers <clears throat> have five petals. 
So they're gonna have, um, you start with a tiny little center. And you're gonna just create one and if you like to keep moving around so it's just convenient um, so your hand is not turning you don't want your hand to turn because it's not gonna be able to draw as well I turn the paper oops there you go can you see turning the paper not my hand just so my petals are consistent so now I'm turning the paper again just so my hand is in the same exact position. Try to make sure that you don't cross the lines. Since I don't have a line over here, I can do a full petal all the way down here. This one won't cross, but this one comes down because it can. And then both sides of this one petal will be behind the other petal. So we'll do like three down here, keeping in mind where the rest of these petals are. You don't want it to, to cross in front. And if you sketch it out with pencil first, then you can erase it afterwards. Turning my paper, not my hand, because that won't work. The design, um, the shape of your petals might change if you turn your hand kind of weird. Just make sure your hand is um, in the same, similar, comfortable position each time. So my hand like is here. I can easily draw. Just remember not to turn your hand. Now this petal goes behind that one. You want to finish it out. Don't forget to finish that part out. Now this one you're not going to see the whole thing. So I would go ahead and do this petal first and then do the other one behind it. And come back and you know there's a petal back there. Then I'm gonna move, I think I'll move this flower over. I sketched it in advance, but I want to keep it on my line. So I'm gonna have it, my circle here. These the other ones on the sides are a little bit smaller. The one in the middle is just a tad bit bigger. You can have five or six petals. You can even have four. To make sure each one comes back down though. Um, a good little tip for keeping your petals the same length all the way around is to sketch out your circle just a little bit in advance to kind of get an idea, I go around very lightly. This is to be erased. This is just for a guide. And then, when you're done, you would just erase the guide. And I, I'll erase my pencil here. Because then the other thing I'm gonna do with those flowers is I'm gonna give it a little detail. I'll go ahead and do my leaves first. Um, well, you could do the leaves or the design of your 
petals. You can get, I'll get started and then you can always come back to it. I'll do a few, don't wanna forget. Just gonna do a few little veins. And then you would do all of those. So right now I'm gonna do some, some leaves on each side of my circle. Doing a leaf and you can come up and out and then back in and follow the line a little bit and then come up back in however you want to do it come up like this you either come forward or you come back out so if you come back down you come behind the line or in front of the line I personally end up doing my leaves a little bit nicer if I go behind the line peek out and then I come back down and around. Make sure I do that on both sides. Well, sometimes I mess up. It's okay so if you wanted to do your whole sketch in advance with pencil then you can always trace over it and erase it again we'll be doing some veins on these two and I'll get back to those. Okay, so then in the background, we have um, land and water and mountains. So if you need to use a, a pencil first and um, something, a straight edge of some sort, gonna do a little line across where my land is don't go over your leaves go behind them if you need to so making sure you're not covering over your leaves it's going behind and then in order to make it look like it's water Kind of nice to have like movement in the water and kind of like a path of some sort. You can have little ripples here and there. Not the same, not too many. And in the background, I'm gonna have some mountains. I sketched my mountains out in advance. <clears throat> so I'll start with my mountain that's in front, the forefront. It's not straight, it's very edgy. The other one is behind. You can make it however you want. Similar idea where you're making some lines to create shadows beside. You can even do some small mountains. So those little lines that I put here, then I put some line shadowing, some shading. If you're doing the ink, it looks just a little cleaner when you just do your lines instead of drawing in. You can also do a pencil and marker if you want. It's just that sometimes pencil eventually smears. This is a little bit more of a finished product when you finish it out with pen. You can even use a couple different pens. Um, the markers, markers of different 
tips. So you can do some shading there. Now, um, I also did a little moon and I did some trees in the background, which I'm gonna continue. I think I used the inset of, uh, again, a ribbon holder. I took it off because it was too deep for me to trace through. <clears throat> Sorry, I did a little, can you see? I traced the inside to make a little moon. Then I did a little tracing through. I'm drawing on the side just so the camera can see me. Probably do a better job if it was in front of me. Um, there's also going to be some stars in the background, but I'll do those last. So the trees, you can do them with a straight edge if you want, do different lengths. This first tree is going to be in the forefront, a little bit bigger tree. Well, actually, all the trees are somewhere in back, somewhere in front, and basically just doing some pine needles. They get a little bit bigger and wider as you come back down. And you know, this not everything is true to size. It's more for a fun little design. It's a cute design I saw on Pinterest. You can even add different elements of things that you've seen. So the needles just go outward. <clears throat> Drawing lines straight down. Of course, pause the video as often as you need to just rewind and um, scrub through, practice. These are little elements you can use on any picture. You don't have to trace it in a circle. If you wanna trace a square dish, you can. Okay, so maybe some a few more squiggles in your land, land there. And then I'm gonna do some stars in the background because it's a nighttime one. It's got a moon. Half loop up. Half loop down and then continue at the bottom. And then some flowery ones. Just little crosses here and there to be super far away. Even some dots that are further away. So then remember, we have to come back and do the little veins in the leaves, in the petals and the leaves. And it gives it some shading, some dimension. So I usually come out straight from the center first, and then as I'm on the edge, I kind of curve that little line just a little bit. So it follows the shape of the leaf, the petal, I keep saying leaf. All right, so these you can go as detailed as you want.
I'm able to see it all. It's a fun design. With some of the other drawing techniques, you can change your flowers however you want. Flowers or leaves. My hand is shaking because I've had a lot of coffee. I hope you all are staying healthy and happy and keeping yourself busy. These are nice um, because you can take a picture of them and just send them to loved ones. Um, germ free. Now when you're done and you like what you've got, um, you could just erase the pencil. Cleans it up a lot. Now I'm gonna give you a couple techniques um, that you can do and try in your own little design. So let's show you. See the pen. I wanted to remind you the ink goes through. Should have told you before. I think I have before, but um, I always have some paper or plastic down underneath. If you're using a marker, it goes <clears throat> excuse me, straight through. Okay, so <coughs> let's turn it over. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. First, I'm going to sketch it over this so that you can see, and then I'll draw it again on here. So I started with three petals. And it's sort of like a soft heart. It comes down in the middle. <clears throat> Almost idea of a heart. Not a sharp inset, but just a little dip. So I'm doing three. <clears throat> Remember, I'm turning my drawing. I'm turning my page. I'm not turning my hand. So I'm starting with three. And then I'll go behind. The other petals are going to be behind. So I'm going to go loop up and then down end and then loop back up again. <clears throat> They're wavy puddle down in. I'm going to repeat that. Now the edges, I'm going to do a little circle. You can do the circle in pencil and then I'm doing tiny circles. around the edges, and then I'm gonna fill it in with tiny circles. <clears throat> then for my shading, I'm doing some lines in the middle of each petal at the base, closer to the middle. Thin lines. Turning my drawing each time. Now the reason I'm showing you, I'm showing you an element, and then if you want to draw it smaller on your next little design, you can, you see it clearly here, and then you can scale down. You may even trace a bigger object and make a bigger drawing. These are just tiny. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna do three of these. So again, in pencil, nice to get started with a circle, at least have your guide. I had already had my sketch there. <clears throat> Probably should first tell you, I'm, I'm doing my shading on the top edges of my flower 
and the inside too. So I should probably finish that first. So these little leaves, <clears throat> flowers on the sides. Follow your circle if you'd like to start with the center, you can. It's really up to you. And <clears throat> if you're doing pencil, you can draw the petals all the way to the center and then do your circles. It's whatever works best for you. But again, this type of flower, I'm starting with about three three to four outside petals and they look sort of like um, a soft a soft heart see that one so I'm going to turn it I think I want this a little bit more spaced out and then come back keeping in mind that you're going to eventually fill in the gaps with the petals behind. <clears throat> no matter how little or big they are, then you're going to do your little shading lines closer to the center and remember to do your shading lines on the outside too. You'll be able to tell how many you need just for looking at it to see if it's getting too messy or not. <clears throat> Keep in mind, I, I did a sketch beforehand. So when you erase it, you can kind of see where everything is. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had swallowed wrong earlier and I'm trying not to cough on the camera. Or <clears throat> in your ear. So, you know, it cleans it up quite a bit. Finishing out another little flower. Let's start with that heart. Remember, it looks sort of like a heart. <clears throat> a very soft heart, not super sharp. All of these are gonna be behind my flower, so I don't wanna cross over, make sure to keep a space between. <clears throat> I'm turning my art, not my hand. Just repeating myself. So it seems like your hand eventually gets this muscle memory, you know, when you start to draw something. <clears throat> it becomes easier and easier because you've just done it a few times up behind and pretend you're drawing and finishing it out behind, of course, so you don't draw through your other petals. Now you want to take a look at your drawing. I'm going to erase it in a second. <clears throat> I chose to do a few flower or a few leaves on the side and a few little um, stems that come up with little seeds. <clears throat> I'll do this one first. I'm doing the straight line first for this leaf, and then I'm coming down full and coming back in down full and then coming back into the center and um, I'll do my little stems coming up behind it and then at the top I'm just doing some circles into little dots some things I've seen in nature I don't know what they are exactly <clears throat> this one again I'm doing a straight line 
and then I'm coming down as a point out to the fat and coming back in and so the end of my leaf is pointed <clears throat> a straight line all the way through keep it narrow at the top coming out fat and then coming back in now at the top coming out fat and coming back in got a couple more little leaves here and to finish out that drawing I do one leaf at a time so I don't accidentally draw through one <clears throat> if I did both my lines and then I needed that leaf to cover over then it'd be the lines would merge this way you can kind of move them so this line goes behind <clears throat> So I did this one first, and you can see that I stopped. I'll stop before, so it's not going through. Now the shading on this little drawing, I did all on one side of the leaf. You can do it however you want. <clears throat> you can do dots and lines to create a little bit more shading. When you do it in steps like this, it becomes easier and easier. So you do all the shapes of the leaves first, all the petals first, and then come back through usually and do your lines and shading last is nice and easy. <clears throat> or finish the flower out completely, then do the leaves and finish the leaves out. So you don't forget something like this one here. I didn't finish the shading. So do the flower first, do the leaves, finish them out, each one out. And then erase. Then your drawing looks tons cleaner. So when you are sketching, make sure that you're using a light pencil or just not such a hard pressure when you're doing your pencil sketches first. So that way when you're erasing, you don't have to see them afterwards. This is cuter. I'm gonna do another one. Had we done this before? This one has straight lines coming to the center first. One, two, three, four, five. And I started with the circle, but in pencil, because I want to erase that. Pencil in the center, and then I'm going to go five lines. One, let's see, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> now you kind of want to get an idea to see if they're about the same shape. And you know, some of these leaves, uh, petals will cover over the other. So again, remember to do one full one at a time. So some of the petals can go behind. Now I'm starting at that point Similar to what we did in those leaves, just not as sharp. We did a sharp edge there. I'm doing a little bit softer, <clears throat> softer edge here. So I'm coming out from small, going out fat, and then coming back in. I'm turning my paper. and I stop before going through that one. I feel like th 
this little leaf petal <laughs> needs to be over further. So I'm gonna move it just a little. <clears throat> That's why I do it in pencil. You can always eyeball it and change it. Same thing here. As we're turning it around, I feel like I feel like it needs to be moved just a little bit. Going behind that one. So these elements you can use if it's scale it down to fit whatever shape you're tracing for the circle, or it could be a triangle, or it could be a square. Going behind this leaf uh, petal, I keep saying leaf, and going behind that one. Now, we can start with the pen. Now, this center is going to have circles. I feel like my center needs to be moved over. Huh. Good thing I did it in pencil first. Now, my circle, I want it even a little bit bigger I think depends on how big your petals are got it right that time petals okay so I'm doing little circles around the center of my flower and then I'm not gonna fill that one in this time <clears throat> let me go ahead and trace my drawing that I already did Keeping in mind not to cross over the lines. <clears throat> I moved that one intentionally. And again, <clears throat> I decided I don't like the way that one is. I'm gonna move that one. That's why I like sketching it first with pencil. So there's one flower. <clears throat> now you can choose, depending on <clears throat> where this is gonna go on your little drawing, if you wanted to do that, say for example, one in the middle <clears throat> and then these little flower leaves go out and then do it again on the other side, which I sketched, and then the leaves go out of the middle. You can do like three flowers like we did here these are just a tad bit different kind of flower so then if i choose to make a little vine coming out this way you can do another um just leaves or you can do another flower it's up to you So I will do those leaves similar to how I did <clears throat> in these drawings here. I personally like to go out like this, come back around, follow it up, all around the edges. I come up, come back around. And then if you'd like to finish it up at the very end with a single. Now you can finish it with a few flowers so it's just not 
you can do one flower in leaves or you can do off-centered where you've got it heavy on one side and a few flowers on the other. <clears throat> it's however you want to do it. Now, the one last step for my um, flower, and if you want to do detail in the leaves, you'd go ahead and just add, it's this, this one's a little bit more simple, just a couple lines on each side of the center. You can keep it simple or you can choose to do them completely different. You could do straight lines instead of coming outward like a lot of the leaves are. You can do some different kind of lines straight down. Make it look completely different than the rest of the leaves and your other designs. So straight straight lines. You can do several. You can do one or two. Step back and look at it. See if you want to add lines or not. There's another element for you. So again, you can choose to do that same one in different sizes. You can put little flowers on each side, the big one and little flowers and leaves. One more little cute um, flower element you can use. <coughs> so say you've got um, a circle didn't mean to draw that scribble over there, but it's okay because I was going to stem off anyway. Say so you've chosen your flowers in the middle and you did leaves all the way up. So I'm doing real quick just so you have an idea of what I'm doing. So this element that I'm talking about here are gonna be tiny little flowers. I'm gonna do the front part of the flower as a heart. It's not gonna stay just a heart. Then on the, pretend that most of the, this is the front of the flower. I'm gonna do a little petal coming back down here on each side and then loop around so this here is like the middle of your flower can you see it and then you would do um, some